Now, this summer, there's going to be millions of tourists in Russia, and we want you to be our expert travel guide. Okay, okay? I will try my best. Okay. Victoria's Secret Guide to Russia. Wow. Do you like That's the name? Nice. Yes, I like the name. Okay. So, to start off with, can you recommend three amazing sites that everyone must visit in Russia? Well, should be uh, like connected with the World Cup or Could be like anything, in general? Anything. Because first of all, I think Moscow. It's a the one big sightseeing. You have so many things there. You have Red Square, you have so many museums, you have a Kremlin, you have uh, a lot of beautiful galleries, and even to spend time during the World Cup in Moscow, it's amazing. But I'm not saying about the St. Petersburg because it's a historical sport, and of course, everyone knows that this is the place to be, even once in your life, just to see. I think that if you're talking about the nature, the Lake Baikal, this is something that really making uh, our country special because this is the biggest lake, you know, with the not salty water. And uh, Sochi, where the Olympics happened, uh, this is the, the place where you have the sea and you have uh, the ski resort as well. So you can do both. And Prasta Fondon, because uh, the lady uh, with who you have interview right now was born there and she is the FIFA ambassador for the world. Okay. So this is, <laughs> as they say, South capital of Russia. And uh, usually people who was born in South um, very friendly, very open. We have our own type of food. Can you recommend any, any dishes, that really delicious dishes, that everyone should try when they're in Russia? Well, first of all, the food has, uh, has been made uh, with love. But if you're talking about typical Russian cuisine, it's of course borscht. This is the red soup probably you heard about. This is pilmeni and blinis with a black curry. Okay. Yeah, you should try it. That's what everyone should try then. Yeah. Now, the weather. Now, when most people think of Russia, they think cold, snow. What, what kind of weather can we expect in Russia during the World Guys, Cup? Guys, please don't take the warm coats and the hats with you because no. it's going to be amazing weather, it's fantastic weather. It will be, I think, about 25, uh, 27 degrees. It could be pretty hot, by okay. the way. And uh, it, it will be very smooth, very balmy, and you will like it, definitely. So in every city, because summer in Russia is very beautiful. Okay, so no one's going to need the, the, ha the no, hats, what's no, the no. Ush Ushanza? Ushanka. Ushanka. No Ushanka this time, no. Where do you like to party in Russia? Where the people that are travelling to the World Cup, where should they go? I would say a secret to you. There, during the World Cup, whole Russia will be the best party place ever. In every city there will be uh, different clubs, different cafes, restaurants, special fun zones and special places for party, for celebration, for watching football, for spending time, just to, you know, just to enjoy. You can go wherever you want and you will find what to do, definitely. Shopping. Okay. Where, should, uh, where would you recommend to, to, to shop in Russia? Any like, neighborhoods or particular areas? Well, if you are talking about their uh, luxury shopping, you can go to Tsum or to Gum or to Stalechnikov uh, Periulak. This is their uh, walking street with uh, different boutiques. But if you would like to feel kind of, you know, more touristic spirit, maybe mm. you would like to buy some souvenirs or some art or something else, go to Stare Arbat. It's kind of old Arbat. This is also a street where you can walk. A lot of uh, open cafes, there are terraces, so it's very nice. Okay, now you're the teacher. I'm a teacher. You're going to be the teacher now. Bad teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all the people that travel into Russia this summer, okay. we want you to, to teach them some, some Russian. So, we we'll start off nice and easy. Hello. Привет. Goodbye. Uh, пока. It's like a charm. Yes? Да. Yeah. No? Нет. Thank you. Спасибо. Where is the hotel? Где мой отель? Where is my hotel? It's a tough one. Do you speak English? Вы говорите по-английски. Not going to try and say that. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the vodka? Сколько стоит водка? But you also should know uh, the name Isho, it means one more. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people would be saying that in the World Cup. Okay, last one. I love you. Will you come out on a date with me? Я тебя люблю. Пойдем на свидание. Да. How do you say tonight? Tonight I'm busy. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> another time, eh? Another time. Yeah. During the World Cup, commentators always mispronounce names. Okay. So we want you to, to help. A them. bit of help with the Russian footballers. Alan Zagoyev. Andrei Semyonov. Fyodor Kudryshov. And the coach himself. Da 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 Stanislav Cherchesov. Okay, brilliant. Victoria Lopuriova. Oh, well, I've been pronouncing it wrong <laughs> for all this time. You see, I've been calling you Victoria Lopireva. I bet you get that. Lopirova. Yes, oh. definitely. Yeah. Everyone calls you Vic Vika, right? Is that your Vicky? Vicky. Vicky Vika is a short name. In a in a way, when I did something wrong in my childhood, and my mother told me Vika. What did you do? I said, oh, nothing. And uh, Vicky, because like I have a lot of uh, friends uh, from different countries. Vicky's, yeah. And actually V. Oh, just you V. Know, my name became V. And now I'm Miss V or V. A, V, how are you? Lady V. Lady V. Lady V. Right. Lady V is nice, I like it.